Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I thought I'd show the best auto battle arena team I've seen built by anyone. And that arena battle team was actually built by Sweet Dango. So kudos to him. In fact, he is currently ranked first or second? Second in the rankings of the arena. I know he was first, so, you know. The rankings on my server seems to constantly change. But let's jump into this uh, replay of this battle against Sweet Dango, and then I'll talk about the way he designed it after the battle. I, I mean, I'll try to comment during the battle, but because it's a battle replay, it goes very, very fast. So I won't be able to really talk about the design during the fight. I'll do my best, though. So, I'm just loading it up now, and here we go. So, what he uses is basically an AoE battle team, okay, and it's princess based. So, you can see, right, first he has Luna move, and then she uses her faction buff to buff up all the AoE attackers. Next is... Leticia, who uses her sprint skill to allow the other targets to attack. Lana then charges forward with, and uses her first AoE attack. Angelica charges forward and uses a second AoE attack. And then... Shafaniel comes forward and uses the third AoE attack. Look at that. Before I got to act, four of my five characters are dead. And the last one is barely alive. So at this point, the last character just falls. Right on turn two. So it's a great design, you know. Three AoE attackers that instantly charge forward and crush you before you can do anything. Are there vulnerabilities? Oh, definitely. I think one vulnerability is that uh, on the desert map, especially, Leticia would not be able to move properly on that map, so she wouldn't be able to get everyone to attack the opponent on turn one. So just quickly bringing up uh, Leticia and why Sweet Dango uses her. Well, first of all, let's take a look. Um, at first, after taking action, the mobility of three friendly units within one block, not including this unit, increases by one, and this lasts one turn. I believe at five stars, this ability increases to two blocks. So for me, because my Leticia is only 4-star, it's only characters within one block of her that gets this mobility buff. But at 5-stars, it becomes, uh, I believe, 4 friendly units, which is all your other friendly units, and within 2 blocks. So it's a mobility buff, basically. Um, in addition to that, she has a skill. Let's see, Sprint, correct? Yes. So, her final skill in her Nightmaster class is Sprint, where... The mobility of all, all one friend, sorry, the mobility of all friendly units within range is increased by one, and is a range of three. So basically, with sprint, she can increase the mobility of characters around her, and I believe it's the same with the love support talent, right? After she moves, mobility of characters around her also increases. So there's, she has two ways to increase the mobility of other characters. Um, other than that, the whole design was just Luna, Faction Buff, and then three AoE attacks. The AoE attacks that uh, Sweet Dango used was the Heaven Sanction. And the reason to use Heaven Sanction is because, first, it has an increased crit chance rate, so it has a chance to do more damage. Second, it has a span of five blocks, okay? So, ridiculously wide range area of effect attack. Yes, it hits, yes, its target is herself. So it's any targets within five blocks of her take damage. But again, five span, as long as she can move up far enough, which is, the, and with the movement buff from Leticia, she can definitely get into close range. This Heaven Sanction will hit all the enemies. So, she had Heaven Sanction from uh, Lana, Heaven Sanction, from Shafaniel, and then an extra AoE attack from, um, who was it? Angel Angelina. So three AoE attacks, all buffed by Luna, 
And with Luna's buff adding additional damage as well, just as a quick note, Luna's faction buff adds fixed damage of 15% of the enemy's remaining hit points. So with all that, it's basically guaranteed kills on all the enemies. So yeah, just once again, kudos to uh, Sweet Dango for that ridiculously powerful um, auto battle design for his uh, for his arena matches. So I hope you found this video useful. Um, if you have these characters, by all means, level them up. But I have to say, princess characters, especially that princess team that Sweet Dango has, are pretty hard to get, at least at the current stage. So thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you found this video useful. And on this note, Nitro out.